my name is Chloe and today I'm here coming to you with my 2021 goals. So I have four reading goals, two fitness goals, and two parenting goals. So I am not one for resolutions, but I am definitely a goal maker. And so let's just get into the reading goals first. So the first thing that I'm so excited about, you guys, is the Unread Shelf Challenge. So if you have not heard of the Unread Shelf Challenge, it is awesome. I don't know... I know it's been going a couple years, and the girl who runs it, I will link her Instagram down below. She is another Kansas City girl, and she's so sweet, and I am just so excited to do this. So basically, at its core, the premise is it's this board, and every month there is one challenge to read off your bookshelf. And the whole goal about this is just pick it off your shelf, something you already own, to fill these prompts. So there's this, but then there's bonus challenges, and there's also a bingo board. So the whole goal of this is to make it as much or as little as you want, but just to read off your shelf. I know all of us have these shelves and shelves of books that we own, we want to get to, we were excited about at one point, but then for whatever reason, they're still just sitting there. And so the point of this challenge is to just get through those books. And I, like I said, am so excited about it. I This is like tailor-made for me. I can't even imagine. And there is a whole website and there's like a, a kit of things that you can use to help you through this year. Um, one thing that I think is really cool is this um, monthly unread shelf tracker. And so it tells you what month, how many you started with, um, how many you finished off your shelf, and then how many new ones you've done. Yikes. And um, I just think this is going to be so fun. This is going to be like, this is made for me. I swear it is. And so um, with that, I'm going to be doing that. My goal is to do all of them, like the bonus challenges, the bingo board, and the monthly challenges. We'll see how it goes, but that's the goal anyway. So with that, I don't know exactly how many books I have on my shelf because I'm filming this before the end of the year, so I don't know exactly, but I want whatever the number is on January 1st, I want on December 31st for that to be 100 books less or more. That really was bad English, but I want it to be at least 100 books less. The other two like reading goals is I want to read more thrillers. I love thrillers. Women's fiction and thrillers are my favorite genres of all time, but because I have been trying to read so much off my shelves, this in 2020 I did not read nearly as many thrillers, and the reason for that is I don't haul as many thrillers because once you know the twist, rereading thrillers doesn't happen that much, and so my desire to own them is not as high. And so I want to just be more intentional about reading thrillers. This kind of goes against the unread shelf challenge, except for the fact that like I could read all of those books and still have a lot of time. So I'm not going to read 100% off my shelf in the 2021, but I'm going to read majority. And I want to make sure the other things I'm incorporating include thrillers. The other thing that I really want to get better about is shelving things on Goodreads. So I have a couple friends who shelve everything by trope, by everything, and I love it. Like I will go to their Goodreads accounts when I'm doing readathons or tags or things like that when I want to know for a, a specific trope, and I personally just don't do it. I have started doing it before. I don't keep any sort of like reading journal or any sort of spreadsheet or tracker or anything like that just because I personally, like I do Goodreads reviews. And that's about it. Like, I just don't have the time or I don't make the time to do any more than that. And so I really want to get better about, like, when I'm in Goodreads, doing my review, shelving by whatever makes that unique. If it's a trope, if it's a genre, whatever it may be, I really want to get better about shelving things. So my four reading goals are do the unread shelf challenge, get my TBR, my physical TBR, down by at least 100 books, read more thrillers, and shelf better on Goodreads. Those are the four. I'm really hoping I don't look back on this and say I didn't do any of them. I'm really, really hoping I can make it happen. The other goals that I have are in regards to fitness and motherhood. So I am now six months postpartum with my second child. And you guys, with my first child, I barely gained any weight and it came off like immediately. I wore my jeans, like I wore my 
bigger jeans or stretchier jeans, but I wore my jeans the entire pregnancy with Ainsley, my first daughter, and I just didn't, like, I don't know. So I expected when I got pregnant with this one that it would be about the same, right? But with Ainsley, it was like 45 days of fertility shots, and that was it. With Annie, it was fertility shots every single day for seven months. So I gained kind of consistently that whole seven months, and then pregnancies, 10 months, <laughs> you know, it is forever. Both of my kids had to be evicted and induced. Um, so I was pregnant for a long time with both of them, which means that like I gained a lot more weight this time. And with that, I'm now six months postpartum and nowhere near my pre-baby weight. And um, this time I'm like actually trying and it's just not coming off the way it did the first time. So I love my cardio. I do cardio every single morning before the kids get up. That is like my me time. I love it. That I'm not worried about continuing because I will for my sanity. But the part that I really want to get better about is lifting. I, I'm not trying to lift a lot. Um, I Like I said, I love dedicating the time to cardio, so I probably won't dedicate a ton of time to lifting. It's also just not been my thing ever. Like I feel like in fitness people, you are either a cardio person or a lifting person. Typically, if you do both, it's you're, there's one you enjoy and one you kind of do because you need to. And I'm definitely the cardio person. And so all that to say, my goal is do some sort of lifting three days a week. And so for me, like I determine that is successful if I do 10 minutes or five minutes, like just something. I I am have been a personal trainer before. I know what to do. I just don't like doing it. And so if I do like five lifts a day, three reps of each or three sets of each, I will consider that a success. The other thing that I am currently doing that I want to continue is the plank challenge. So the plank challenge looks all sorts of different ways depending on who you ask. But basically all you do is plank for some length of time every day. Currently, I'm trying to do a minute a day, and um, that is getting easier and easier. You know, at the first little bit, I felt it in my shoulders, I felt it in my abs, I felt it kind of everywhere, and it's getting easier and easier, thank goodness. But I want to continue that plank challenge, so I'm doing some sort of plank every day. The last two challenges or goals or call them what you will, both involve parenting. So one of the things that bothers me the most about myself as a mother is how connected I am to my phone. I, especially in these quarantine days, have really depended on my phone for socialization, as I think we all kind of have. But I want to make sure that there is a lot of time completely technology-free that I am present with my kids. And so I'm going to try to do, during the week, 9 to noon, no phone. I will have it on the charger or somewhere nearby in case we need it but not be looking at my phone from nine to noon. That's not very long. That's a good chunk of time to spend with my kids. I really wanna make that an effort. And then also, my kids are currently two and a half and six months old. And so I've heard about older kids, parents of older kids doing this, but I want to start it now, making a point to every month have some sort of one-on-one -on -one time with each of them. Because mom guilt is strong, you guys. If I'm with the baby, spending a lot of time feeding her, doing this, doing that, whatever, I feel really guilty that I'm not spending time with my older kid. And then also my baby is spending a lot more time just kind of being plunked here or there because I'm doing things with the older kid. So... Both of them, like I'm feeling a lot of guilt because I'm not able to spend as much time with them as I could when I just had one kid, obviously. So I want to be intentional about doing something with each of them individually once a month. So those are my goals for 2021. Wish me luck, you guys. I really hope I can make it work. And that is it. What are your goals for 2021? Do you make goals? Do you make resolutions? I really try not to like say I'm going to cut things out, but instead I'm going to add things because I just feel like that is better for me. So um, that's what I'm trying to do. So let me know what you're doing, um, what you think of these goals, and we'll talk to you in the next one.